just to save time, they want a perimeter of this trapezium. All right, so we added these sides, 0 0.12, 0 0.41, 0 0.21, and 0 0.18. Now these are all in meters. But notice that they want a perimeter in millimeters. So when we add these up, we're gonna get 0 0.92 um, meters. So eight plus one, nine plus one, 10, plus two, 12, carry one down to two. 1 plus 3 is 7 plus 4. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And so we get 0 0.92. Now, how many millimeters? Milli means a thousandth. A thousandth of a meter. So if you want to convert from a meter, which is much larger than a millimeter, you would multiply. So we multiply 0 0.92 by a thousandth. And so we end up with on the point moving three places to the right. So imagine the point is here, but one, two, three places to the right. So add two zeros, it's been 900 millimeters. Okay, so going down. By the way, this was in, this is not, in, I have a two here, right? So 0 0.92. So 920, that should be the answer. All right, so in case you wanna see a different method of doing that, well, let's suppose we have a 0 0.92 meters. How we know it's gonna be, um, for every meter, we have a thousand millimeters. Now, since we wanna cancel the meter here to get millimeters, since we convert into millimeters, we're gonna put the, we're gonna switch these guys around. So you can see why I'm doing this now, a thousand, millimeters per meter. What that does is allows us to cancel the units in meters, right? By having them one in the numerator, one in the denominator. So that we can clearly see that 0 0.92 will multiply a thousand. Okay, and so 0 0.92 times a thousand, go one, two, three places to the right, we end up with 920 millimeters.